Hello everybody, this is going to be a short video to show you how to use the custom form component inside the Successware remote software system. To first access the forms, you must build the forms, and you can do that inside our administrative or management website, located at manage.swremote.com. When you open this web page, you'll be brought to a login screen. This login is your administrative login. It would be the same login you use to register devices out in the field. If you don't happen to know your login, you can click the forgot password and it'll resend you your login information right there. Once you have your login information, you go ahead and log into the website and it's gonna bring you into your dashboard. Here on the dashboard, over on the left-hand side, you'll see some new buttons. You'll see a custom forms button as well as a review forms button. The Custom Forms button is where you can create and manage your forms, and Review Forms is where you can go to review completed forms. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the Customize Forms tab here to get into making a custom form. When I load this website, I can choose the company that I'm working with right here. So you want to make sure you choose the company that your techs are using out in the field. If you're running multiple companies, you will need to create a form for each one of the companies once here, I can go and I can click Add a Form to begin to create my first form. Here I open up where I can now begin to create it. I first can name the form. From here, I can also decide whether or not it's published, which means it's actually active and the text can use it, whether it's required, so if that shows up that the techs must fill this out while they're on the job site, whether or not to upload it to Dropbox with the invoice. In other words, if I have Dropbox set up on the administrative website, when I send along the receipt, it's also gonna load this form into the Dropbox folder for that customer's location documents. I can also set it up to email the customer with the invoice as well. If I want the customer to receive a copy of this, I set it email with the invoice. Once I've titled the form, I can come down here and put a little bit of informative text about it. Then I can come down here and start to choose the, the fields I'm going to add onto this form. I click add field and I can begin to create the fields for the form. The first thing I want to do is hit this drop down and choose from the different fields we have. These are all the different types of questions or types of fields you can obtain in your forms. The first one is just a simple text field, which is instructional text. So you can create text to capture information right on that form. The next one is actually to create a question that would be answered via text. So I might say this to be equipment age. And I'll come down here and I can check the max length allowed in this field. So I'm going to go ahead and make it four so that I can get a four digit age for that equipment. And then I can click save and now that item is on there. Let me go back and add another field. This time I'm going to hit the drop down now and choose long text. So this one I might put in as location so they can answer in a nice long text where this, is, where this item is located. From here, I might add another field, date. So I can choose the date of service. You can have it set up right there so that they would choose from the different date options right there. And then you click Save. I can add another field here for time. For time of service. I can have a select one, in other words, a multiple choice where they have to choose one answer. I can choose a condition field here. And that gives them three options to choose from, and they have to choose. I can also order sort. 
or I can set it so that it adds a where they wouldn't choose an option. So in other words, if it's not available, there's a none option there for them. I click Save, and now I have that one there. I can also go through and add a field similar to that, but this would be a select multiple. In other words, they would choose from the answers, and they can select more than one. For this one, I'm going to go ahead and just put in add-ons. And I might say UV filters as one, uh, humidifier as another, some kind of filter system as another. Again, just building a couple of options here that the text would go through and then choose more than one option while they're out there. And again, I can set it up to auto sort so it would sort alphabetically. I click save, and now that question's there. And I can go through and continue to add more questions by just hitting add field. So it might be one for checkbox here. And this one I'm going to say was the customer present. And it's a checkbox field here that they would choose the answer to. I can go through and choose other ones, such as range here. And again, it could be temperature readings or something of that nature. I can also choose a rating. And I can choose the number of stars that they can choose from. So I might say one in 10 st stars there. So that then when they go through and answer the question, they can choose between one and 10 how good the rating is there. And then lastly, you can go ahead and add a field here for signature to obtain a customer signature. And that's how I would go through and create the form. A Couple other things about it too. I can always click on one of these fields to edit it if I needed to. Here is also help text. So if you want to put a little kind of uh, a notification or a little bit of a uh, help there for the technician to fill out, this would pop up under it so that they know exactly what that question is actually asking. So what is the age of the equipment? So that will show up on the form so that the technicians know exactly what to go through. So I can edit it, I can delete them using the red X here, or I can even sort them. So for example, if I wanted to put location above equipment age, I can do it by just dragging these and sort lists. Once I'm done, I can go ahead and choose that it's published now that I have fields on there, and I can click Save. And now that form has been saved. You'll see it's right here, my equipment condition form. I can even edit it further along, or I can go to the preview button here to preview what this form will look like for the technician on the iPad. So the form will be right here. This just gives you kind of a, a, a similar view to what the text will see here. They can go through and fill out the form with all the questions I created, even the ratings and my readings, was the customer present checkbox, all of that right here. And of course, they can capture the signature on the device. And that's how you would create a form on the device. You can even set, okay, what kind of device am I looking at? So you know what the form would look like in that form as well, in the device your text use. So that's how I create my form. I can create multiples and of course sort them just like I would in what view they show up as. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact our support team at support at swremote.com. Thank you.